Tension between Israel and the Gaza Strip, as we've mentioned, has taken a steady rise. Over 150 rockets have been fired from Gaza since the beginning of Israel's Operation Brothers Keeper to retrieve the three kidnapped Israeli teens in the West Bank. And Israel's launched retaliatory airstrikes against several targets in the Strip. Well, I-24 News correspondent Shachar Pellet traveled the areas under rocket fire from the southern Israeli city of Beersheba to Steyrot. On the surface, it's business as usual in the towns and villages of southern Israel. But the locals' sense of confidence turned into fear when around 100 rockets slammed into their cities during the past four days. When I talked to my children on Saturday night, they were really terrified. I have a 13-year-old daughter and she was very frightened. It's not easy. It's a very difficult routine. <laughs> The residents of Beersheba, the largest city in southern Israel, haven't forgotten the sights and emotions of being under attack. And with only 60 seconds to find shelter from incoming missiles, they certainly haven't missed them. The first rocket fired at Beersheba since Operation Pillar of Defense, Israel's 2012 assault on the Gaza Strip, was shot down Saturday by the Iron Dome anti-missile system. For the residents, it's a ray of light, but as they see it, it's not enough. Even though the Israeli Air Force struck some 10 terror targets in Gaza Strip overnight, the citizens of southern Israel believe the government should be doing more to protect them. The government should be much more assertive, much more aggressive and much clearer. Moving to the town of Ofakim, which was targeted by three rockets over the weekend, one intercepted by the Iron Dome, the others exploded in open fields. With only 45 seconds to scramble for safety, the residents complain about the lack of proper shelters. We don't have a safe room in our house. The shelters are quite far from us. Moreover, the shelters were locked, so we just stayed at the house instead of going to a shelter. And in the city of Sderot, located nearby the Gaza Strip, residents have only 15 seconds to find protection from the rockets. Uh, I myself have uh, seven kids. Uh, most of them are born to this situation. What, what do you want them to do? To run, to, the, say, to run from the town? President Shimon Peres also visited a shelter in the city. We shall react accordingly, keeping our values, not only our weapons, keeping our responsibility, not only our feelings. The Israeli government's ultimatum to Hamas to stop the rocket fire expired Saturday night. But as the stream of rockets continues, no official policy or decision on how to react has yet been made. Israel is trying to avoid any unnecessary escalation, but might soon be forced into making a decision.